All right, Brian, what do we got here? We have a nice, at this point, cool, but previously quite hot compost pile. And this was a compost pile that was about this tall when we built it. And over its life, it has produced two months of hot water for our outdoor shower. And uh, lots of rich organic material. And we're actually uh, killing off some plum suckers underneath here as well. So we're stacking our functions. And if you come this way, I'll show you the rest. There's a hundred feet of half inch poly pipe that coils through the pile, starts in on that end and kind of on each layer, coils back and forth, back and forth as we built the pile up uh, lasagna method. And then we have cold and hot water coming over to the tower. And uh, we just stopped using this the first part of this month. So it, it ran about two months overall. Um, initially starting out at about 160 degrees, coming out of, the, out of the pure hot. So we had to temper it down with the cold water. And then towards the end, it was getting down around 90 or so degrees. But on some days, 90 degrees is just fine for <laughs> taking the sweat off. Anyways, um, so we've got the outdoor showers, and in where we're standing, it's all inoculated with mushrooms. So I can mushroom uh, spawn all nice and moist during the hotter, drier summer months, and kept people clean and smelling fresh. <laughs> oh, so that the water that ran off of the shower went to, to feed the mushrooms, keep yep. them moist. Yep. Okay. And then how long did it take you to build this pile? You have interns, right? Yeah, me and two other people built it in about an hour and a half, including gathering materials. So in an hour and a half, you got a summer's worth of hot water uh, for people to shower with, and, uh, um, and then you end up with a bunch of compost. That's right. And then next year, the interns come back and you... Uh, build some more. Make it again. That's it. <laughs> Now, yeah, if you, we wanted to keep it going, we'd just have two or three piles here and just build another pile, switch the hoses, and you're off and running again. We could have so hot water all winter long if we, if we built enough piles. So what did you do? You had like uh, two interns taking a shower once a week or so? Uh, well, there, it was different. We had a, a permaculture design course here over the summer where we had 20 plus people showering every morning for about a week. And then we had other. And you ever ran out of hot water? Never ran out of hot water. Oh, man. People could take showers first thing in the morning. They didn't have to wait for the sun to come up. It was just hot and ready to go anytime, oh. of day or night. Now that's a big perk. <laughs> for two months like that. Yeah. So now, how many, in, how many interns? So for the rest of the year, how many interns did you have around? Oh, I would say a half a dozen or so people a day. Wow. On, you know, an average. Wow. Wow. That so is excellent. It was, it was good. Not to mention, we had the blackberries kind of dripping over the edge and the plums were dripping out. So we want to start planting more fruit right around the shower so you can just like punch your fruit <laughs> and take your shower. So, <laughs> and so it, all the water goes to, to water all those. And earlier this year, there was probably a little more privacy than there is now because yeah. right now the leaves are yeah, falling off of everything. The leaves now. Yeah. But we can start planting bamboo and stuff around oh, here. Yep. and. Things that are thirsty. Yeah. Willows. That's it. Some willows, fast growing. Bamboo's nice because it's it keeps its leaves long and grows thick. Ah. Uh. But yeah, plums aren't bad. If you like this, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about alternative energy, alternative building, and permaculture all the time.